Devour. Devour. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Hello everyone, welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> With a brand new item that was just announced uh, this past week on television that we noticed. At Taco Bell, it's called the Daredevil, I just put this over, Daredevil Loaded Grillers, which are supposed to be our $1.00. Grillers, which is kind of when you think about it, it's more like a, a tiny burrito or a smaller burrito with way less ingredients inside of it. And there's three levels. There's one that's mild, that one's supposed to have chipotle in it. There's one that's medium, that one has habanero in it. And then there's this one, the hottest one, that's supposed to have ghost pepper in it. Now, for anyone who's actually had ghost pepper, from what I'm to understand, it's quite hot. It's really hot. And so it's funny that all in fast food recently you hear ghost pepper, ghost pepper, ghost pepper. It's kind of like the hot word, right, that they put in. But I really doubt that this is seriously ghost pepper, or if it is, it's probably such a small, minuscule amount. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Because there's no way that for a dollar, they would give you a griller that's that hot that would burn your mouth out, you know what I mean? So it's only a dollar. And for a dollar, it's actually quite hefty. It's about the size of uh, a burrito. I'll show you here what you get. And it is grilled it's on their, their typical tortilla, right? So it's hefty. It's, not, it's definitely bigger than a taco. And a taco, I believe, goes for around a buck. So you're actually getting a lot more food than a typical taco, which is kind of good. So I got ghost pepper. We also got a habanero. Uh, I don't know, Arlene, are you going to try that one? The habanero? I'll try them. And give it a taste here. So she's going to get set up for that. And we'll both try it together here and we'll see what we think. I don't. I think it's supposed to have like chips or something in it. I don't even know. It's like chips, cheese, and meat or something it like that. It doesn't feel like there's anything particularly hard in there. Nah, mind. we'll see. Okay, well, give it a bite. So give it a bite too. I got, what is it? You got habanero. habanero. It's supposed to be medium. Mine's ah! ghost pepper. It's supposed to be super hot. Okay. Devour. Devour. Hmm. All I could taste with that first bite was meat and cheese. Finally. I did get a mouthful of meat that time. Oh. I got a mouthful of meat and a little bit of sauce. I loved red meat. All right. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, totally gay. I am very supportive of people who are LGBT. All I got was bread and sauce. Was it a hot sauce at all? Yeah. I think it's a little hotter than maybe the standard hot sauce, but it's kind of in that, in that realm. I literally got nothing but meat and cheese. I taste no hot sauce at all, so I'm going to... Go further yeah, in here. I got... Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. I got no meat. <laughs> and you got a chip, so there is a chip in there. One of those weird, weird red tortilla Ugh, chips, right? Alright, I'm going to try again. Devour. Devour. It's gross. In my disgusting pig-like mouth. Do you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? Uh, did they forget the ghost pepper in mine? Seriously, like I taste no heat at all. There's none. It mine tastes has bland. Way more heat. It's bland. Like cheese and meat is all I taste. You should try mine. Mine has heat in it. Well, no. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bite the other end now, because mm. typically if one end is has nothing in it. See, I don't even see any sauce. I'll see cheese and meat. Mine has sauce, definitely. I'll bite the other. Here, take bring that back. I don't want to dribble mine all over yours and it oh. starts leaking out of the hole here. All right, oh. I'm going to try the other end now. So what do you think for a dollar? I didn't taste any meat in that first bite. It was just, yeah. literally, it's just like a, like they slapped, like they just emptied a little jar of sauce and just slapped it on, oh. slapped on some chips. I think out. I'm the complete opposite here. Okay, let me take a bite from this end. Let me fucking unleash the beast. That's it, I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. I've got gout. Phil has gouty fat butt. Devour. Devour. Hmm. 
on that end, I definitely got a flavor of a pepper, but it's not hot at all. It's a tiny bit of little tingle of spice on my tongue, but nothing significant at all. And this is supposed to be the ghost pepper. That's, that's, that's how really they wrapped it. One. That's supposed to be the really hot one, which is baffling me. This is supposed to be hot. Now I'm curious if yours is hotter or not. Let's yeah, try, let's try it. This is a habanero, right? Yep. I can actually see more sauce in yours than in mine. Seriously. I think they might maybe screwed up. <laughs> okay. Well. Devour. Devour. Mmm. This is pretty good. Mmm. Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? That's disgusting. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. No, that's disgusting. That is d really nasty. Oh man. Come on. It's disgusting in my opinion. It's immoral. I actually like that. Yours is more spicy than mine by far. Yeah, maybe they fucked up and wrapped them the wrong way. Yeah, because... Because it has the mm. furs on all of them, so maybe this was the ghost pepper. Yeah, because I can definitely taste it. I can taste the pepper. It's very strong. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. This is, like, so mild. Seriously. Maybe like, it's Chipotle, or maybe they forgot the sauce. What? A, I, I can't even accurately rate the product now. Wow, see, this is spicy. I'm getting burned in my mouth now from that one, for sure. Would you like to try this one? Nah, honestly, the chips taste funky with well, it. Well, they always do, because they're nasty. When you put chips inside something like this, they get soggy. But the chips taste even, like, they got, like, this weird flavor to them. I don't know if it's part of the sauce hmm. or the chip or ugh. Not I'm a fan. try another bite here. I, I think you're right. I think this might have been habanero. And that might be ghost pepper, because my mouth is really burning from that bite I yeah. just took. All right. My mouth has a decent Devour. amount of so I, think, I think they didn't screw up when they wrapped it, because they're supposed to wrap it where the name of the one is supposed to be on top. So I think they fucked it up. I would rather they didn't put enough sauce yeah, mine, put the wrong one. There's, no, there's almost no heat whatsoever. I taste like almost nothing, besides meat and cheese on mine. You, I can see a tiny bit of sauce right now. So either it was Chipotle or Habanero. Or they that has got to be ghost pepper. It's got to be. Because it's hot. That one bite I took in my mouth is still burning Yeah, I wouldn't it. imagine this would be the more mild yeah, one. Yeah, I think they, they wrapped them wrong. Well, that's a good sign. So if you go and you order a really hot one and a mild one, yeah, good luck. make sure you get the have right one. Have someone test them because you're going to end up, we had the wrong ones here. So for a dollar, here's the thing. For a dollar, it's a decent it's, it's a decent size. Yeah, first for a dollar, it's not bad. It's just it's you bigger. Like the flavor. We actually have a regular soft taco here to compare. It's bigger than the regular soft taco. There's actually more meat and cheese and everything on it than a soft taco. But is it anything to blow you away? No. Would I get this for a meal? No. This is a snack. This is I want meat and cheese and a little bit of spice. There's nothing else really in besides those nasty and, chips. And it's something portable that you can carry around. Like, oh, you gotta go somewhere, maybe you gotta quick right. grab something, but Right, you're getting a quick snack during the day or something. That's yeah. what you would get it for. You wouldn't eat this for a meal. That one's pretty hot. It's finally starting to dissipate in my mouth now. Mm -hmm. That one was pretty hot. So if that's habanero, that's hot. If that's ghost pepper, it makes sense. I wish I could accurately review it, but I really can't. Yeah, we don't know if they made them right or if they... Right. I'll tell you this. Yeah. This one, I don't really like. It's bland. It's, it's bland. I don't taste much, if any, spice at all. I wouldn't want this one. If this is habanero, I wouldn't want this one. I can only imagine what Chipotle would be then. Right. This one is very spicy, and if, I can imagine if I eat that whole thing, it'll probably burn my mouth. But it's not like overwhelming heat. It's just like a tingle in your mouth for a while and it's already it's almost completely gone. As I said, if it were real ghost pepper, you probably have your mouth and your eyes all, you know, watering up and stuff. Mm -hmm. For a dollar, it's not bad, but number one, they screwed up our order. Number two, it's not exactly, you know, it, no no veggies, no actual, you know, refreshing flavor to it. Yeah, it needs some kind of maybe like some like <clears throat> bell peppers or yeah. tomatoes or something. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give this one the fiery if this is really the ghost pepper. I'm gonna give this one a three out of five. Because of the amount of spice, it's hot for a dollar, okay? For a dollar, you'll probably be challenged to find something that's spicy as like that at a fast food place. This one I can barely give like a 1.5. It's just so bland. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually gonna raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Gout, 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 McFist, gout, fucking butt fuck, gout, farts, gout, gout, gout. Um, I learned the hard way, okay? Now what ended up happening was, I ended up getting an acid level, uh, imbalance, 
back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels the gaddy fat, but feels the gaddy fat, but it's the most blandest flavor. <laughs> So yeah, just be careful if you order all three, make sure you know which one's which, yeah. or else you're gonna get a serious surprise. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's our local Taco Bell. They screw something else up in our order too, so I'm not surprised. Yeah. But yeah, not too uh, impressed. I'd say the ghost pepper, if that's what that is, three out of five. And whatever this is supposed to be, I have no idea. It's supposed to be uh, habanero, uh, 1.5 out of five. Not very good, so. That's it for the Daredevil Grillers. I hope you enjoyed another dance, Tries it. I'll see you ah! next time!